Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor. This time around, I'm going over the Tracker Specialization. If you missed my other specialization videos, please go back and check them out. Uh, this time around, I'm focusing specifically on Tracker. And, uh, you know, it's very important that you know what you're getting into when you choose a specialization because, as you know, once you choose one, you're locked into that specialization for the next 10 ranks, okay? You can't go back and change your mind. Nothing worse than going through 10 ranks only to discover that you didn't unlock anything that you actually wanted, okay? So let me tell you exactly what you're getting with Tracker. Uh, as, with, as with all the other specializations, you'll get four new foreground emblems as well as one new background emblem. You'll unlock a, the armor that you can see here in the video, which is a new chest, shoulder, and helmet uh, item. You'll also unlock the Tracker visor. You'll also unlock a skin for your chest, shoulders, and helmet, okay? So a lot of neat new appearance items. You'll unlock a skin for the bolt shot, so that's also a nice little perk. And uh, all these things, of course, are just appearance related. They're not going to affect the gameplay, uh, but you will unlock, once you complete the tracker specialization, the requisition modification, which is a tactical package, which allows you to request a new ordinance drop when you've been granted one, okay? Basically what this means is if you get an ordinance drop, you don't like your selection, you can request a new one uh, that will have completely different uh, weapons and power-ups. Um, I really get, I'm going to give this like a D minus, okay? I really don't like this tactical package. It's very, very passive. For one thing, a lot of game types, you don't even have ordinance drops, so this would be completely useless in a lot of game types. Additionally, most of the time, you get something that you want with the ordinance drops. I know from time to time, you get stuff that's garbage. I get it too. You get like a needler and a couple grenades or something. Total waste of time. But that doesn't happen very often, and uh, you know, you're, you're better off going with a tactical package that's going to benefit you throughout the entire game instead of maybe, maybe once per game, okay? If you go with something like firepower or AA efficiency or mobility or shielding, those are going to be helping you throughout the entire game, all game long. Requisition is going to be like a one-time benefit, maybe, okay? And it's not even going to give you that big of a benefit. So that's why I give this a D-. minus. It's practically a failure. The only reason I don't give it a failure is because it, it would be helpful like 10% of the time, maybe. So anyway, that's what you're getting into when you complete the tracker specialization. Again, if you've completed this one, if you've used requisition, let everybody know how you like it. Uh, let everybody know in general which are your favorite specializations so everybody can know, kind of get an idea of what, what everybody else is using, what you like. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Add this one to your favorites. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Halo 4 Tutor. Check out all those other specialization videos. Stay tuned for another Tips and Tricks series. I'll see you soon.